All right, welcome to the Fueled with Purpose podcast brought to you by Excel Strategies. We're a mentoring network. My name is Jay Thompson. I'll be your host today. We've got my good friend and our Bryan County Director, Nick Schultz. Nick, good having you in the uh, Sugar City Studio. Buddy. It is good to be in the Sugar City Studio, Jay. Well, listen, uh, we're, we're on the fifth floor, high above Savannah, Georgia, right on the river in the Sugar City Studios. We're grateful to have you a part of the podcast. Uh, we're exploring everything mentoring, especially when it comes to Excel in our territories. We're here in the three counties around Savannah, Georgia, and Chatham, Bryan, and Effingham counties. And uh, Nick, you're overseeing Bryan County. How's it going down there? So far, so good. I mean, just this last week, we did a mentoring wood workshop with our construction mobile training unit right. out in Pembroke. And it's like three weeks ago or so, we did one out in Richmond Hill. So we do these two night events where we we mentor teaching uh, kind of construction, basic construction skills, where we build bird feeders and build stools with some of our Excel students. Right. And Or we partner with someone in the community, like the Richmond Hill Teen Center, and they bring their teens out. And we bring mentors and and the youth together and and do natural kind of life mentoring where we're building something and working on something together, yeah. talking through life skills, but also, you know, teaching a skill. I tell you, I love the mobile training units because it allows us to go anywhere the road takes us to be able to mentor in uh, our soft skills and character development along with the hard skills and specifically the trades. And with the construction trailer, being able to take the construction trailer into a place like Pembroke where... Really, it's a small town, Georgia, you know, and it's like there's not a lot of opportunities out there, but we're able to start teaching in carpentry, framing, roofing, and really get young people excited about the trades. Yeah, man. Possibilities are endless, and especially during this time of COVID and pandemic, and some kids are physically going to school, some kids are doing virtual school, Right. and there's been really months going by where a lot of youth haven't had opportunities to do things, whether it's sports or yeah. do something socially with their peers or just learn different things. And sure. so this is meeting a, a many different needs on a, on a lot of different levels. But, you know, there's a lot of people that want to get their hands on stuff, learn something. And there's a lot of parents out there, especially like single moms who are like, please, you know, teach my teach my boy something because right. his, his daddy's not around. And this is something that We'd want him to know how to use a hammer, how to use a measuring tape and to be able to fix things around the house and be able to work on something, create it, take it home and be proud of it. Like it builds self-esteem too. Yeah, it really does. And uh, one of the number one questions that were asked is where do you find the young men? And and I was thinking about a principal I was sitting down with yesterday out in Effingham County. And, you know, we're we're about to launch back into the schools. And he asked me this question. He says, what what are you going to do if the schools have to shut down because of the COVID virus? I said, look, the mobile training units are still on the road. We still are going to the communities where the students are and where these young men are to continue to train. Yeah. I mean, we're pretty much, we're not stopping. So, I mean, we we do our safety precautions where we do the masks and hand sanitizer and make sure everybody's safe and waivers and all all those things that are needed. But um, that's the nice thing about the plans that, you know, really the vision you had this late spring going into summer was, the new idea was mobile training units to outfit these trailers to be able to do construction, eventually mechanics, eventually welding, and be able to to go to all these places that that are in need as opposed to waiting for people to come to us or not spending all of our money in brick and mortar buildings where people have to come to us. We get to to go to them. And then pandemic hits and it's perfect timing for us. It's hard to say, but it, we didn't yeah. miss a beat. We could go to all these places that really needed help and didn't know what to do. And now we're providing them a service where we get to mentor, we get to push kids into trade skills and, and show them the possibilities are out there and the community benefits from it by by being able to bring their people together too and, and, right. and sure. do it all together. You know, I'll never forget the day we were reading as a staff uh, Up From Slavery by Booker T. Washington. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it kind of hit me like, man, we've got to take the trades to the students. And, um, you know, there was just this moment of inspiration and it was like, all right, let's let's launch into these mobile training units. And uh, and I'll never forget taking my son up to taking my son's seventh grade class up to D.C. We were like the last group to tour the White House. You know, this is the end of February, early March. And then all of a sudden we're we're driving up to Atlanta. I'm flying from D.C. to Atlanta to meet up with you guys for the um, the uh, welding competition. 
And as we're driving back, I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, are we even going to get the mobile training units off the ground? Mm -hmm. You know, because we're going into this pandemic. And really, you know, I, I feel like through the community, through the support of the community, through the Home Builders Association, and uh, through Dan Vaden Chevrolet here in Savannah, it's allowed us the opportunity to, to ramp up with two mobile training units for automotive and construction mm -hmm. and to get these trailers on the road to start training. Yeah. I mean, for me, training. the exciting thing is the excitement of other people wanting to see it happen because we're partnering with, with Glenn Paddock with the Dream Campaign, who's right. helping us do our wood workshops. And and then, like we said before, the, the Teen Center. Or next week, we're going out to the Trulin House, Trulin House, the, the, the boys, boys' Home, home. In, yeah. in Effingham. And so there's these community partners, whether they're nonprofits, their businesses, their churches, their whoever, they they want to be a part of it. And so they're donating their time or saying, come to us or donating money. Like the community is really rallying around. Right. We we want to see some good happening. And even if a young man doesn't end up becoming a carpenter or a welder. Right. They're still learning skills that when they have a family on their own, like he's going to be able to fix stuff in the house. He's going to be able to change the tire and change the oil. He's going to be able to do things that, you know, a lot of the young men we work with, they might not have a father figure passing down these basic skills to right. do this. And regardless of what their career ends up being, they have these skills to be able to take care of people. Yeah, it really exposes these young people to opportunities, right, to to the need to learn with the to, to work with these tools and uh, just exposes them to to jobs uh, to opportunities and uh, just opens their you know their uh, perspective. The number one question people ask us is where do you get the boys? Where do you get the mentors? Mm -hmm. And uh, I, you and I were just talking before we started the podcast today just about opportunities that are coming in. We know that we get. A lot of our mentors through churches, through other organizations in the community, mm -hmm. uh, share with us about opportunities that are coming in uh, through former military personnel. Yeah, one of the unique things for our past workshops is that I've had a couple friends who are, are vets and with the VA, right. and man, they have got so much knowledge, wisdom, experience, but just skills too to right. pass down, and that's really an untapped people group, even for us right now. Yeah, sure. To, to bring that together. And, you know, we've already got connections with the schools, the court system, churches, businesses. But then we, we have these vets and a lot of them are struggling. You know, they, they mm -hmm. deal with, with, with mental uh, issues, PTSD or depression, but they want to give back and they, they have the ability to do that. Right. But, but where do they go to do it? And now with these mobile training units, we're providing the opportunity to say, hey, you just show up for these two nights, for these two hours, and, and you can teach a young man some of these basic skills. But the, the reciprocal benefit for the teenager and that vet to be able to give back to each other and have purpose mm. is a really powerful thing. So we're seeing that those opportunities to connect with that demographic that we haven't before. So if there's somebody watching the podcast and they're saying, hey, look, we want to connect with Excel. We want to jump on the team, start mentoring, especially in these mobile training units. Where can they go to yeah. sign up? Yeah, best way is social media. So we are at Excel Mentoring mm -hmm. or hashtag Fueled with Purpose. Website, exceltoday.com. You can email info at exceltoday.com. Just shoot us a message. Let us know what you're interested in. If you want to get involved, we'll send you a link to do a background check once you're ready to get around some of our students. And we'll give you the time and you just show up and it's no skill required. That's right. the other thing. I mean, we'll train you on some yeah. certain things, but just showing up is part of the battle. Yeah, I think that's half the game right yep. there, man. It's yep. just showing up. So mm -hmm. exceltoday.com, people can go on there and sign up yep. and really start following us through social media, Facebook, Instagram. Yep. That's how you know what's going on, man. Yeah, man. Well, listen, I want to give a thank you to Mark Hall. Mark and Jenna Hall are good friends of ours, and they're the title sponsor for our podcast. And so we're grateful for them and for uh, them caring about uh, uh, Excel and allowing us to share our story. So uh, thank you so much, Mark and Jenna. Listen, we've got a big event coming up October 4th, the XL Summit. We're going to be at Victory North here in Savannah, Georgia, telling our story. We're going to have the trailers out there, the construction trailer, the automotive trailer, yeah. the big truck, the big 2500 from Dan Vaden Chevrolet in Savannah. So uh, really, we're wanting to invite people to come out. How uh, you know? How can people uh, find out more information about that and sign up for That's that? That's a good question, Jay. Um, I guess we'll email them or something. No, we're going to put it online, man. Put it online. So we'll yep. we'll put a big link and a, a promotional push on on social media. We'll put it on our website. It'll be out probably in the next week or so okay. as we get the details all squared away. How the people can buy tickets, be a part of it, be sponsors. 
whatever. Um, and it's going to be a real interesting event, especially with, with COVID. You know, people are like, it's not going to be a sit down. So event. it's not a sit down. No, better, we're not right? sitting we're... down with 300 people all in <laughs> one room. It's going to be very fluid and right. starting outside, going inside, going to the second floor, third floor, coming back down to the first floor where the fabulous Equinox, fabulous Equinox. Equinox. Yeah. they will be there. So it, it's going to be a really cool event. So we'll, we'll give people an idea of what that looks like on social media and then, and then how to get involved with it. All right, good. So if you're interested in joining the XL team, go to exceltoday.com. If you want to participate in the XL Summit, go to exceltoday.com as well, and you can sign up there. We'd love to have you on October 4th. Thanks so much, Nick. Good to have you in the studio, buddy. It's great to be here, Jay. Look forward to next time, huh? Yeah, thanks for employing me. I appreciate it. (laughs) Excel Strategies is a mentoring network that exists to empower young men with purpose and passion. We accomplish this through mentoring and training on topics such as goal setting, time management, relationships, health and fitness, financial stewardship, and so much more. To learn more about Excel strategies or how to support our work, you can visit us online at exceltoday.com.